Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. The teams then, Monaco against Porto. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. And so the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Monaco have elected to go 4 4 2. Well, it's a setup that places greater emphasis on the supply route coming from out wide. Pivotal. It's Casillas for me because if he gets a little busy in this game, he has the talent and vast experience to cope with pretty much anything. He can be an extremely reassuring presence here. Yeah, still certainly. Be For Cow! They've scored! And what a great way to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on. This could be rather exciting. Casillas maybe was unsighted by his own defence there. Just look at the way the ball sneaked through that defensive line and I don't think he could pick it up until it was way too late. Monaco take the early advantage. Alex Tellez. And it's Herrera. Out to the left it goes. Brahimi could try cutting inside here. Alex Tellez comes out on top in a really physical duel. Giamutinho. So what now? Lamar, can he get through? Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Battles to win it back. Herrera tries to stroke it through. Muff, he's gone for it! Falcao. Abubakar knocks it in gently. Benaglio catches it safely. And it's Chalmutinho. Now it's Falcao. Lamar turns and goes back. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line in that defence, and, and he's delivering. 
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Dicks one in. Monaco are very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. That'll be a throw. Looks to clip it forward, towering header! Oh, surely that deserved better. It was such a clever idea to lift it into his path. Herrera, chance to break. Hoists it high. Abubakar. Has a shot! Abubakar with a shot! Sticks it away! They have grabbed themselves an equaliser! Bubakar duly reaps his reward, kept his cool whilst the defence lost their bearings. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. certainly made things interesting. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. And it's Brahimi. Abubakar. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Deftly done. Away from immediate danger. It back, Danilo Pereira, Brahimi, he's had a shot, he's missed but not by that far, yeah he may have snatched at that a bit even though it was quite close, by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. He needed a better pass there. Oh, they can break. He's one on going for goal! Goal! Porto! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Abubakar versus the keeper, and only one winner. Peter, I can tell you, that was nothing short of a cold-blooded execution.
Porto go into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Can't get the better of his opposite number, and now they can launch a counter. Brahimi. And it's Abubakar. Brahimi just brushed off the ball there. the whistle for half-time. So a really good half of football, three goals and just one separating them. So we reached the halfway point. Oh, what a half, it's, it's been pulsating and totally absorbing. We're actually headed for a, a potential classic if this carries on. This is insanely good. And the second half gets on the way. Monaco don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. Dashing forward at pace. He's lifting it over. And it's Sidibe. Aimed in toward great leap! Herrera. Could move up a gear here. And he's on his way! His foot in there. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. And he's made certain that won't get through. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Now it's a Bubakar. He's got away. João Moutinho gets it back. Goes for goal! Oh, the ball's come, it's come back out! Oh, he's really drilled it. Herrera just couldn't steer it on target. Everything else was, was up there. Forward quickly. Lamar. Falcao. Looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Danilo Pereira. And it's Herrera. At Bubacar. Gets wrestled off the ball. Jean Moutinho. Balls out on the left now. It's gone out for a throw in. And it's Jean Moutinho. Receives it from behind. Can he Kelly score! Good movement there, but. Not the best of finishes. Well, I thought the keeper was really confused as to what to do then, whether to come and take it or stay on his line, and yet in the end, he's allowed to get away with uh, a lot of indecision there. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Danilo Pereira. Bubakar can't get the better of his opposite number. Now a chance to break. Fabinho tries running with the ball at his feet. Tries a through ball. Falcao. Monaco showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. Rahimi plays it into the box. Aimed long and direct. Driving on now. What can they conjure from here? 
And it's Fabinho. Looks to slip it through. Up to meet it! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. it away and it's Sidibe now surely Monaco are definitely not going down without a scrap their attitude just can't be faulted and that's been... it's bounced out and it's Sidibe Tries to cross. Into the middle. Is it in? So close to drawing level. Ah, oh, that could prove a pivotal moment in this match. They needed that goal badly, you know. They have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Bubakar, two goals to his name already. Forward it goes. Porta can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Well, Cow goes up and over. Alex Tellez. Herrera. Herrera. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. So who's he picking out? The referee brings it to a close. Monaco are stunned. They controlled it, they led, but somehow they lost.